Hey field agents, it's the FBI. I was just going to kick back, kill some monsters, and ramble with y'all about some uh, reports from the last BOG and kill a couple monsters. So, let's uh, dive into it and uh, I'll show y'all some reports and talk about why I did and certain things and maybe uh, somebody will pick up something on it. So let's get into it. Uh, I guess I start at the beginning of the match and work my way up. I usually reinforce my teammates. I got four setups. Not all of them do well. Some of them do. This one scored well. Okay, uh, my setups. One of them is a Zuka Edward mix, which is a basically it's a range and siege mix. Um, it works really well. Uh, I threw one ground in there, but that's the only ground. I put some 13 grounds in there just in case someone wanted to throw, hit me with mount. I mean, wanted to hit it with range, but it's mostly siege and range. Yeah, that scored well. Uh, yeah, they got her pretty good. Yeah, whole team. Yeah, their team was a lot bigger than our team. But I was a lot bigger than everybody. But my teammates didn't. They struggled. But All right. So I guess we'll take them off. It's my first attack of the range. Eh. We lost. Wick, Wick had good defense the whole time. It's my buddy three. We won this one pretty good. He had decent help. Alright, this is another one of my range siege combos. This is the one I, I was trying this out for. Uh, I went fat on the 12s instead of going heavy on the top. It didn't do well. The last one was a lot better for reinforcing going heavy at the top. And not so much going fat on the 12s for reinforcing. I had to keep that note for next time. And not to do the 12s. Let's Yeah, I held up on the second one. Uh, 
Maybe it wasn't so, so bad. See what the other people do. I do a blind reinforcement. I don't do it on demand. At the beginning, I just I reinforce everybody while we're rallying instead of waiting for them to send a start a rally. This was the first guy I blasted with Siege. Through the top. Thirteens. Twelves. Elevens. Tens. I think the nines mopped up a little bit. He was a full player at this time. Yeah. There wasn't no meat shield. That was a full player. After I sieged him, I ranged him since I removed his big siege. That was the reason behind it. Was in the see that because the siege because his fourteen siege was gone, it allowed my the only thing holding me back was that little bit of ground. But because the siege wasn't there, the 13 and the 14 siege was gone, and the 12s, and the 11s, and the 10s, and the 9s, and the 8s. Yeah. So, yeah. From blasting the siege, uh, just by reading the report and acting quickly, I knew that the range attack was going to tear them tear on the next hit. So I took that fast. Nice bit of points. for some more monsters. Actually, I'll do this for them.
Okay, they ain't got nothing new for me. I'll find something quick. This is a search technique I told y'all about in my earlier video. It just covers the area quicker. Alright, back to the videos. So just another siege hit and going into it the 15th they went positive 14th did really well 13th barely broke even 12th did really well 11th did rather great Tens did good. And reading her report, this was a numbers player, most likely. A lot of T1s. All right. Okay. I wiped out her siege. Completely. So I, I most likely gave her a range hit after this. Let's see what happened. Or she teleported. She teleported. I would have hit her again. I hit her teammate. Siege. Soften everybody up at the beginning of the match. Same setup. I removed the siege. Nine times out of ten, if they attack me, they're going to rally me with siege. It pays for me at the beginning of the match to go and remove their siege. It just makes sense. See, yeah, all this player siege was removed. All their upper level siege. And again. Oh, they had some seeds live through it. All right, this player, all their seeds didn't die. They had some 11s and 10s live through it. Well, I hit her here. She was five billion. I would have took her down to four. I hit her again up here shortly later. All right, we rallied her and killed her. So because I took her siege away, the range rally made easy work of her. You can see her her 
she never changed power from the 4.2 from the 5 to the 4.2 without the seed she had no defense and it was an easy rally Remove her. Right. Here's one that I hit and hit later on. CV. It's a little bit bigger player. I hit them. Remove the 14s, half of the 13s. I actually had a pretty nice build of siege. So let's jump up to the next time that we were in battle together. 8.7, I took off 8. I would have took them to 7.9. Here they are at 7.9. We rallied them. They would have went to 6.7. We took them. We rallied them. With range. What did we kill? Five million them. Oh, that don't even make sense. The report's reading that they only lost 5.5 .5 million T1s. And 193 other T1s and these little minor troops. That's right, yeah, that's 14 million. So that was a bust. Oh, that was my solo. They were getting, oh, they were getting, we were going to do a ground rally. And I was hitting them to take away the range reinforcements. I mean, the, yeah, the mount reinforcements. Yeah, that was our range. And people scattered when I came, and then we hit them with the range rally. It was a little bit of a fake out that we sacrificed one attack. And when those people were switching out, they were switching out to reinforce the next thing. We shot, we shot them with the rally. We shot them with the rally while his teammates were switching out to reinforce the next thing. And blew his head off. So that was the end of CV.
this guy do the Alright. Wonder if anybody helped join. Ah, nobody joined. One person. I'm probably gonna take damage. Feel dumb if I lost it on, on the video. Okay. Looks right. I'll show you all that too. Or it would next to no help. One one teammate helped me. On a eight six on eight thirty six Arctic. Had one teammate help. Sent twelves. I use the Sin 12s. I had a feeling that nobody was going to help. My regular people ain't on right now. So I did the other one that I do. I sent all 13s. I took them off the 12s. I sent all 13s. I did 40 on the 15, 14s and I did 5 on the 15s. Still stayed under 40,000 on the damage. Altogether, we stayed under 122 of us. Alright, let's get some monsters. Two, two. need to show you all that too. If you stayed on here for my ramblings, earlier I posted uh, the secrets of the switching the gears. If you stayed on here, you got to see this. And when I told you I would to switch the, uh, the ground gear onto the hobos, this works for the sieve set. I know a lot of people hate on it, but if you have the sieve set, the bourbon set, mount attack, oh. where, where is it at? Marching range. Marching range, marching range. Well, size. This this armor, this armor will do the mount or range for the pans. The bourbon set will. So that's a, a little nugget for anybody that stayed here listening to me. Alright, let's go back to here. I want to get to the reinforcement. Because I think that's the one where you really get to know some things. <coughs> and choosing why I did certain attacks.
All right, Suzanne, I think we had did it and half her siege it was gone. I either killed all of her siege or she ghosted at half her siege. I think I killed it all. And I went back to finish it. Yeah, I went back to finish her siege off. She must have had a bunch of ground. Yeah, she had T1s. Yeah, I wanted to completely wipe her siege out before I started hitting her. Alright. So I took the loss on this one. But I gutted her of all of her defense. This guy ended up, I think he had a number set. He ended up, he ended up, uh, I guess changing his armor or something. He ended up getting a really good defense after we hit him a few times. I leveled this one. Let me show I. Remove the siege all the way down to ten. And when's the next time I seen maybe? Here we go. She was getting reinforced. I hit her with range because I, I had removed her siege. But because she didn't have siege, and she had one troop. They did, they did that whole little bit, little bit of help, little bit of help. Don't help. <laughs> he had mount. Is more giving me points, but because I hit with I hit with range, so but I think he was expecting me to hit with siege again. So yeah, we uh we ranged it. Uh, see how far I took her mount down. Took 13s, uh, a quarter over 12s. Some of the reinforcements left, and then we rallied her. So I solo hit her and then we rallied her with ground. And then we removed her range. ground speed on we wanted to take out a range and we ended up getting uh, the intention was to get a range and we ended up getting ground and a little bit of mount So you know, I had to try it myself. So I tried it. 
She had a little bit of extra reinforcements. I didn't get the ground either. I didn't get the range either. But I did finish off taking her ground to the mount. This left her down to level 10. So we finished her off with calves. Five on five. Equal fair game, but she unghosted her range. Or she had a range, but we just had too much too much mount coming at her. She had no siege, she had no support. So overall her defense held pretty pretty decent compared to what she was up against. about never do this I started this guy off with hitting him mount I must have read something in the report it looks like he was doing a rally he had his range march out. So I just took advantage of it. Looks like looks like he's missing his range march. Subs are all geared for range siege anyway. So yeah. So I popped this guy pretty good. Right. Let me go check on the monsters. Alright, let's do another one of these. Keep everybody happy. Shrink that down to that. Slide it on the 13s. Send it off. Not really tagging a lot of monsters tonight. The team's pretty great about that. The pan, the pan 2s are actually better than C2s. Uh, they have more skips and they come with resources. But we still just rally uh, pan 3s and up. Just because they're there. Uh, things get really bad off. I'll, I'll go solo some 2s, but for the most part. We want to stick to rallying this stuff. Now here's here's that one I told you the the bourbon armor. The bourbon armor can do range and still have the mount gear on. 
Well, it's the mount and range gear at the same time. And it's refined for mount, but the basic attributes are enough to carry range. Go back. Still ain't got to the defense reports yet. It's just been my my onslaught. Alright. Ace. Alright, this is how we killed Ace. Alright, we went over this one. Oh, it was a two, two tapper. Alright, so I took his siege and then ground took care of him. I throw a little siege in my ground. This time it didn't work, but usually siege in my ground works. Like right here. That, that one showed it worked, but usually the siege in the ground works. T11s, 10s, 9s, 8s, 7s. May have the only ground general with two flat refines, but it pays off. It can't be debuffed, and it eats through the layers. All right, Ace, you're dead. Alright, let's see how we kill comedy. Alright, alright, we're heading mount. Apparently, I'd already hit this one with Siege earlier. Siege was gone, so I wanted to get rid of the ground. Took it all the way to 10. So, then it was my turn to bring the ground in. Alright, that was the end of her. Okay, so seeing this, I hit it with ground, so from the top, my ground hit his ground, so it tells me he's got ground speed on, because it didn't hit his range, 
He's got ground speed on his keep. And it didn't hit his keep. It didn't hit it, so somewhere down here his ground didn't die. Or it would have made it to the range. Or no, it went. It would cross over the mount. If I killed all his mount. Uh, his T1 range got it. T2 range. All right, spider. Where spiders next extermination? One of my teammates must have got him. He didn't have much life left after that. <coughs> Suzanne. Yeah, she was pretty tough. Uh, she beat me. What killed me? All right, number player. At 6.30 on T1s. Alright. So she's got pretty good defense. But let's see how Suzanne did the rest of the match. Alright, I tried her on ground. I got my revenge. What did I take out? took out the top ground and mount I took out the mount she's got a mount skill book so she's got a T1 trap and she's in, using mount speed it's just okay makes for a good defense we needed a ring trolley this. Alright, I went mount on mount. Just tough on the layers. It's hard to get the number players so low. She's tough. <laughs> and the reinforce, the reinforce number player. Alright, I did it again. What, what did we get this time? she she healed some range but 
she lost the T1s, she'd be dead on the next hit. Where you at, Susan? If she didn't heal them T1s, she'll go on the next one. My teammate must have got her. No one survived except for Rick and uh, the only two people that survived their team was uh, Wick and Ole. This guy and this guy. Alright, war front. Alright. Ground attack halved them. Without even looking, my next attack should have been uh, mount. But. My, my ground took his mount. And some of his ground. And my next attack was mount. Splits. Alright. It's a little bit bigger player. We had to rally him. Ranged him taking out his top mount. We took him all the way down to four on his mount. Uh -oh, four. Three. Two. Took him all the way down to one. Then we hit him on ground mount. We took his ground. Down the eight. Oh, nine. We took his ground down to nine. All right, we lost this one. We tried to ground a player that was 5.8 billion. That was a little bit of a mistake. 
but he still had too much seeds and horses. But see the the range and the seed layers just shred at the ground. So they attacked us at a distance. Why you never do the never send ground into something unless you're going to kill it. tied on this one. We sieged them. Which we should have done it earlier, but we took most of his 14s. Half of his 13s. All of his 14s. All of his 13s. Twelves, tens, nines, took them down to the eights. That last, the one before this one, took them, took his fours out. We lost this one really bad too. I think this was because of reinforcing. Ah, uh, his teammates. Yeah. They butcher us on the reinforce. Yeah. Sometimes it happens. Yeah, but it made me mad, so I went and soloed them. Mount. while his people was switching out. I did it before they could switch out to the next. Second, hit these. I don't want a turtle three. They suck. I'll do that. Okay. Uh, 
like I said, we had just lost that report. So I went and soloed the guy since we had lost. And popped him up pretty good. What mount? Took his range. His siege. Took his range, his siege, and his mount. And then we rallied them. Ooh. For the finish off. Alright. Next guy. Zero Ebony. Finally some defense. But okay. This is the Hydra. It's one of our stronger uh, numbers guys. They're about even on their bus. That guy and this guy. This is where I'm doing the Zuka and Edward with the rain siege. From nine up, just three, 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 and then thirteen's. Don't I think defense thirteen's got the highest value? Our strength uh, number. So I, I would go out on the 13 to 5. You see, like, she did 200,000 14 to the 0. Then you look at down here, I, it might be 700,000 did 132, but. Zero for two hundred. That's still one fourth or almost one fourth of this. This should at least been twenty, twenty five thousand. But it's zero. The thirteens are much better for defense. So I, I say I bulk it out at thirteens on defending. Mine didn't really do too well that match. But Hydra held his own. There's another one, uh, Musa. This time I did a direct, this I sent a ground to her. Maybe wasn't the best thing, but she got attacked by Siege, I sent ground. I think. We thought she was getting attacked with range.
it didn't do that well either. So the ground wasn't really the best defense on against the siege. This one scored fairly well. This uh, range and siege for what it was. It's just by comparison, I mean, they were pretty strong. Here I hear T12s end up being the hero, but he sent mostly 15s and 13s. But if you go in here to the buffs, he debuffed me. What was this? All right, range attack. Okay. He debuffed 600 of my 23. He left me 1,700 attack to go against. He had a defense of 10, and I debuffed five of it. He had 500 defense to go against my 1600 attack. And he had an HP of 978. And I debuffed five, or 493 of it. And my range had a 1586. Five, and he debuffed three fifty eight of that. That's why this was so lopsided.
Well, that's about enough reports. Um, it's the biggest thing you just see. If you scout somebody, I'll scout, I'll scout somebody right now. You scout somebody, you should be able to look at them and tell what you need to hit them with. This person's got a, a little bit of a bottom. I don't think you'd solo this to get it all the way through. It's possible, but it'd be rough. I mean, it's, it's, it's in the realm of possibility, but it's borderline whether you'd make it through or not. But whatever you do, it would, you'd do a lot of damage. Sending a full march to it. Any attack you do will win. Um, I see Dewey and Boudica. You know it's mount. You know it's a mount. You know it's a mount-based defense. Um, so range is going to be a little harder to hit. I mean, it's going to be a little bit stronger against range. Um, if you're a real big player. You're a real big player. Um, probably ground it. And hope for the... And hope for the burn. If you siege tapped it, you'd 100% burn it. One, you'd 100% burn it. If if you removed uh, the 14s and 13s, if I wouldn't have no doubt in burning this, unless they were like heavy refined, heavy numbers on the bottom. But even though you. You'd still win on points. So it wouldn't be nothing to... You on battlefield, you can siege it. If you had 15, two or three hundred thousand, as long as you stayed under a million on the 14s, under a million on the 13s, a million 12s. And set your gears and set your gears on and you'd burn it out that way and you come down here and see that the siege defense is at 77 and the HP is 4 524 That's just that's one way you can use the. That's one way you can do it. I mean, just by reading the reports. Let's 
see if I got any scout reports I can show you. Some of them you just get scout report and there's no way to solo it. You just have to rally it. Like right here. He's got thick layers with a heavy base. but no real top so if it's a numbers player he's is he's all benefit he's all in the benefit if it's a numbers player so you, you shouldn't you about need to rally it with mount if your team could handle it you burn through that with mount And if, if mount failed, you would follow through with ground. Especially if it's numbers. Because range can't, range can't handle the HP and the defense from the numbers. But mount can when you hit it hard enough. For sure, numbers. For sure, dead. All right. That's it. This thing's been way long enough. If uh, anybody stayed on this long, uh, thanks. All right, bye.